How's it going, everyone? I'm on IW4X gun game today because I, I felt like it was kind of fitting. So is this team gun game? I've never played this. This is so weird. But that's not the point of the video. There's like a ton of Call of Duty news today. A ton of stuff happening. The main thing I want to talk about is the new SM2 blog post or SM squared. I don't know what to call it. I'll just say SM2. If you don't know what SM2 is, it's basically, I want to say like a mod, but it's a, it's a whole new Call of Duty game based on like all the Call of Duty games kind of. And it's made in the Modern Warfare 2 engine. But yeah, they made like a, a brand new blog post earlier like a couple hours ago today we haven't really gotten any major updates from them in a while i'm not playing on the server they basically introed their blog post by stating that the reason why the game looked really finished was because they only tried to show the absolutely most polished parts of the game so it kind of gave off the impression already kind of done and they sh they're just not releasing it for no reason so on on this specific blog post they did focus a lot more on the on the sort of like broken side of things that like the things that they're still working on. This is kind of like, oh my god, that's so cringe. Now one of the biggest announcements was wager matches. Thank God, or wager matches and just party modes in general. But they did say that there's gonna be wager matches. I would have low key been surprised if they didn't do wager matches. You need to like actually bring those back to Call of Duty at some point. What, what? Why is the server such a camp fest? Is this like normal for free for all? I'm so confused. Party modes will have their own playlist, and it has mode and map rotation, so we can't really just join a specific party game. These modes include all or nothing, gun game, one in the chamber, sharpshooter, sticks and stones, one shot, one kill, knives only, infected, and Michael Myers. Wow, what a <laughs> what a selection. Honestly, Michael Myers is the most surprising part of this, but it's cool that they're adding it. What the f That was the nuttiest turn I've ever done. See, now they're not camping. I'm owning. Holy shit. They don't have a video to showcase the modes quite yet, but they did say that they're going to showcase them soon. Also, sorry if I just, like, randomly stop moving while talking about, about the death vlog. I'm, like, I, I don't have, like, a second mod or anything. I'm, I'm just reading it through on my phone while also trying to provide some okay gameplay. I don't know where it was. They did also update some of the weapons. They added some more and they replaced some of them, actually. They replaced the Vector from Ghost with the Modern Warfare 2 Remastered version. TLDR, they replaced most of these weapons because they had a ton of technical problems, like, stopping them from improve from including them well. Get on, holy shit. Why am I really good on KBAM? Makes no sense to me. On controller, I'd never be able to do any of this. They replaced a lot of the Black Ops 3 weapons because they weren't able to port it well, apparently. So, for example, the Black Ops 3 M16 set got replaced by the MWR M16. The Sten from Black Ops 3 got replaced with the Infinite Warfare Trencher. And they replaced the Black Ops 3 Dingo with the World War II Stinger. Holy fuck, I, I wasn't even looking. Oh, also the Black Ops 3 Man of War was replaced with the World War II AS-44. However, they did claim that it wasn't because of technical problems this time. It just didn't feel right having it in the game, which, I mean, I understand that. But that's, but that's all the replacements. Aside from that, they added the PTRS-41 from World at War. Dude, the M4 is a laser. I gotta make a full video with this thing. Uh, and they added the Oni from Infinite Warfare. They are also working on camos. Oh. Am I in a bot lobby? What is this? That guy's going 53 and 1! Maybe this is a bot lobby. I'm gonna have to guess that's all because he's just fucking camping in this little mansion. I'd be genuinely surprised if that guy does not have a nuke. Yeah, no shit. Okay, this is... I mean, what, what do we expect? I can't join game. Do they have something against quitting in the middle of a nuke? Oh, sorry, I respect that. Okay, one sec. Now they did also rework some of the grenades and equipment. They made the heartbeat sensor tactical, kind of like how it is in most games, I think. They changed how flashes and stuns work. However, the, the main thing is that, first of all, they added trophy systems, and they're adding stims, stim shots, which honestly is what I've been looking forward to the most. Not really because I'm like bad and absolutely to stim 24-7, but more so just because, well it, is, well, it is because of that, but also it just kind of became a reflex for me. Sometimes, like, I, I'd, I'd, like, play, like, a ton of MW2019, go back to an older game, and then just, like, accidentally stun myself after getting hurt really bad. They did also say that the stim, that they're gonna make sure that the stims aren't gonna be the quote-unquote default option, and that the rest of the tacticals will also be viable. They did also make some slight UI changes. They updated the game rule menu in custom games, they added a new score bar to the HUD, they slightly updated the music tracks menu, which I didn't actually know there was one, but... Now I do. And while MW2 does have like a performance overlay slash FPS counter, they did also update that. Oh yeah, kill streaks. They added the war machine. Uh Okay. They slightly modernized the original AC-130 and Predator missile 
interfaces and sounds. I assume it did probably look kind of weird, it, it, just having the classic AC-130 and like a more modernized interface. And they're also adding a drivable gunship. Basically similar to, I guess, the Black Ops 1 gunship. What the... All right then. What? What the hell is happening? Dude, this map is so weird. Like sometimes there, there's just, there, there's just like this moment of like silence where literally nothing is happening. You just gotta not go out, else you're gonna die. And then it just turns into pure chaos. It's so weird. This map is. I mean, if I'm giving like an objective opinion, it's perfectly okay. But that's about it. No, nothing crazy. And that's about it, really. Uh, I got. I guess that's not the only Call of Duty news. So I guess I'll just say the other one. Uh, they're adding a Snoop Dogg skin to Va Vanguard and Warzone. Okay, well that was revealed like forever ago. And I actually talked about it when they like, first revealed it, but now it's out. Uh, I should probably check that out actually. I think about it. Oh my god, this is insanely stupid I, I i love it though i i i, I want to buy it now i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't have the cod points though all right whatever hopefully it's not a one-time thing they'll actually bring bring it back like at some point